I'm Demarius. I'm Joseph. And I'm Ali Abuzuku. And, and this, this is, is our project, project on the James, James Branch Cable Library. Library. James Branch Cabell was born in 1879 at 101 East Franklin Street, an address that would eventually become the Richmond Public Library. The child of two affluent and well-known Virginia families, Cabell would become a man of letters, authoring 52, 52 volumes of fiction and nonfiction in his lifetime. The library opened its doors in 1970, only two years after the university was formed in 1968. It brings in more than two million visitors annually, most being students at VCU, but also others in the Richmond area. Over 50 million was used to expand and modernize the library in 2016 during its renovation. So, I went to VCU Library. I don't call it the James Cavill Library because there's so much controversy over it, so I just call it the VCU Library. Um, it's really just a place where me and my friends come hang out, play games like this. Um, yeah. All right, so this library right here, first floor, this is where me and my friends first met each other. We wanted to create a YouTube channel called Cabby Fiends, uh, where we just do dumb pranks, dumb stuff, like, you know, just, we wanted to be goofy. Um, it was actually this room, 1554, and it, honestly, it didn't work out. We just ended up spending like four to five hours in this room, uh, goofing off. We ran up and down the aisles and all that. But yeah, that's how I met my friends. The effect this library has had on Richmond is monumental in the sense of how much it has helped the community of students and citizens. To get a sense of how important it is, here are some statistics for an average week at the James Branch uh, Cabell Library. Over 63,000 people walk through the doors. Around 4,000 students are in the building from midnight to 8 a.m. Over 1,200 reservations are made for study rooms and zero seats available at Starbucks. As we all discuss together about what this library means to us, we recognize the commonality between all of the stories. Even though the library may not seem like a super interesting place, it has led us all to the direction with positive outcomes, whether it has been making friends, helping with school, or just having a place outside the dorms to chill. The library has helped us thrive as individuals and group members, as well as bonding in interesting new friendships. Thanks for watching our project. So this is the fact number one. We should definitely use that one. Yeah. All right, fact two, which is the how long the library's been open, uh, the cost of it. That's a lot of money. <laughs> All right, so basically the first three facts you made on the library, 
And like, I guess we'll decide like what pictures to put in after, but like, we'll have transitions in between all of them. And then, then we'll do the stories about us and all that. And then bloopers at the very end, but like, oh, look at this crazy person. <laughs> Talking to the number one. Oh!